Indeed, and this is why we are connecting with her because she is what we call beauty with purpose. When you look that up in the dictionary, she literally shows up as a picture. But she also shows up under the example of light, positivity, and honestly, just being the best version of yourself. This is why, Expresso family, we are welcoming the 2023 Miss South Africa. It is Natasha Yuvet! Natasha, how are you, gorgeous? I want to come back just for that intro. Oh, get out this of here. This is by far my most favorite <laughs> intro I've ever had. Oh, so, Natasha, you say that to me every time because no, this is like the no. time we see each other. It's in the voice. Oh. It's in the voice. It, well, you, it's in the you because we <laughs> love you, babe. Are you good? Thank you. I'm great. I'm I, great. I it's can 2024. Great. Like, yes. It's a new year, new me. 100%. Um, but really enjoying it. I enjoying can see it. That. I mean, we see you on social media. We see you on radio. <laughs> we see you on television. We see you just absolutely killing your reign, which is a beautiful thing. But I want to hear from the person. How is it going? Because the last time we caught up with you was when you'd just been crowned. Mm, mm, mm. It's been, I mean, what, five months? Mm -hmm. I still have like a seven, eight to go. Yes. And I must say, Jan started quiet, which oh. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed. And I'm I've glad. been busy and you can relate. I know you understand. <laughs> yes. But so far, just great. I mean, doors opening left, right and center. Mm. So being blessed. I'm grateful. I'm yes. appreciative. And just soaking it all in, like whatever. I do every single day like I'm just present Yay. just enjoying every second and you genuinely are, Natasha. That's what mm. we can tell because you genuinely are so intentional about each and everything that you do. But something that is big for you <laughs> is the Natasha Uber Collective. Please tell us about that for the people who don't yes. know. What is it? Yes. Mm. So when I entered, obviously, Miss South Africa for the second time last year, yes. I wanted to come back with, yes, I had purpose and I had this um, experience of being financially excluded, but how could I incorporate that as Miss South Africa? And yeah. so I went back and I already spoke to my um, campus, Boston City campus, which I did my degree through. Yeah. And before I entered, I went back to them and I said, listen, this is what you've guys done for me. I studied through a bursary at Boston and I don't even think you guys are aware. So. And I said, I want to do this for other learners as well. Mm. Because so many South Africans are being financially excluded. So I went back yes. to Miss South Africa and I said, okay, stepping in, I think the purpose for me of the platform was enhancing whatever I'm already doing. And Come on. So I went in and I got the 10 bursaries and now we're already standing. I think we are reaching over 51 bursaries. What? Natasha, yes, that's yes. incredible. So we selected the students for the Boston City Campus bursaries. They will mm. find out very shortly. Yay. And then next month we are actually starting with Hyperion Death and... Um, ASUS yes. for IT space bursaries. So I'm really excited just to see how far and how big we can make it. Yes, and yeah. girl, I, it's, it's the year huge. for growth. Come it's on. The year for leveling up. This is why we call it 2020 more, okay? It's more of everything good. <laughs> can I be Miss Sada 2020 more? 20 more, more. <laughs> exactly. I love that. I'll rain forever, I won't mind. <laughs> girl, but this is the thing for you. I think that you have been stepping into your purpose since you were young, and this is why it's now just shining the way that it is. I mean, talk about the fact that you have have been in entrepreneurship since you were 19 years old yes, that is not yes. an easy thing why does it mean so much to you yeah well i think it was circumstances that kind of just pushed me mm. you know in the in the deep end mm. so when i was 18 i did designing as a subject in school and yeah. i didn't know what i was going to study i knew i wanted to be miss south africa but i was like what am i gonna study <laughs> yes. i need something to show <laughs> and so i wasn't sure so i went directly into actually registering natalia jeffries that july sure that i turned 19 and back then, obviously, I didn't have a set plan. It was like, let's just go with it. Let's just see where it goes. Like, I love fashion. I love fashion, that. fashion. Yes. But I didn't really know how big it would get and how stable it would be. Mm -hmm. And so it's 10 years later, almost. Yes. No, it's not. It's absolutely no. it's okay. eight years. It's eight, eight years. years. Okay, okay, if you yes. run it off, it's 10 years. <laughs> um, and it's doing great. I love it. I really love Girl. it. I do it with my mother as well, which makes it so much more special. Mm, that's so sweet. And I also <laughs> love the fact that you are just naturally a fashionista. Every time we see you and you step out, <laughs> even at the L'Oreal Tokyo World podcast, you look like a dream. But babe, Thank I you. also know that for you, uh, something that is always something you speak about is your childhood. Yes. So I want to take you back a little bit. Okay. Apparently you were the Jet Li of your childhood. <laughs> Karate was a thing. Uh, are, is that still part of your life? Can you still do like a back kick type of thing? Yeah. Okay. But right. I can I can count like to three. Uh, Each what? knee, sun, she, that's all I remember from okay, Karate. So to two. And then you like itch. Uh-huh. Knee. Uh-huh. 
So whatever. I okay. forgot it, but my brother and my mother actually has black belts. What? So I thought, let me, you know, try it out and it didn't work for me. I was going to say, so you, you are me, because my, my whole entire family me. can speak Afrikaans fluently. <laughs> I can't speak Afrikaans. I can't understand what she just said, but I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like one, two, three, each knee shines. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll learn sometime. But babe, I also want to then ask you, in uh, terms of what else is coming up for Natasha yes. Bad, what can we expect? Oh, can I give it away? I don't think I can. No, can. please. Oh, Natasha, I, come on. I can't. It's your expressive family, dude. I can't. Awesome. But, but, yes. but. Yes. There's some exciting, exciting things for Crown Chasers that Ooh. gives me opportunity. That's all I can say. And I might be flying overseas for another brand that I'm very excited Ooh, about. Oh, girl! Um, so I think it's just really seeing yeah. where I want to go as Natasha. Like, yes, you are Miss South Africa for a year, but yeah. afterwards, it needs to align. It needs to almost just get better and better and beyond from there. Yes. And Miss South Africa is really paving the way for me. So there is exciting things coming. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to need a few tips and tricks from you. Girl, girl um, but you see, this is the thing. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't want to give it away because you said you don't want I'm gonna to. I'm going to need some tips and tricks from you and just, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to reach out to my mentors and people I look up to and yes. I'm going to need support. I'm going to need help and I'm excited. That's all I can say. It's going to be incredible yeah. and I'm super proud of you <laughs> and we are in the best hands when we talk about our head girl of the country, <laughs> our 2023 Miss South Africa, Natasha Uber. Of course, you know that there's still so much coming up right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Stick around. You are on S3 and we're going to be back on the other side of this. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're still on your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on S3. And of course, you know that we are always 100% bringing you the best. I will remind you every chance I get. Because we do that, we have still got Lima Crazy who's going to be in the building. But right now, my fave Miss South Africa is also still in the building. <laughs> Natasha, babe, I have been loving everything you've been doing. And we were even saying to each other that we always feel like we see each other because of what yep. we see on social media. But you've been doing so many different things that I have to ask you. What has been your biggest highlight so far in your reign? Okay. Mm. I was like, hmm, you're going to ask me some <laughs> other questions. No. <laughs> um, yes. And many. Many. Yes. So let's let's name a few. Let's okay. not only do one. Okay, let's do it. It would be it. unfair. I like that. Yeah, I like yes? that. It yes. would be unfair towards the other ones. I that get brought... that. So I would say Paris Fashion Week. I of mean... course. And you were even there with Bonang Mats. No, L'Oreal delivered. Come on. Let me quickly tell you. I was. <laughs> I dined not once. Okay. No. Twice. Okay. On the Eiffel Tower. <gasps> Two nights in a row. Like, what's life? And what what, like, what wh is life? Where are these dreams just coming true? I know, I know. Yay. That's bizarre. Then I would say, um, I went to... Okay, Mauritius. Okay, let's not do Mauritius. Let's do Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of these international things, I love it. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Let me go back to South Africa. Uh -huh. Women's Health magazine cover. Oh, yes. Oh, and girl. Yo, then, you were doing the things. Visiting schools is also one of always my favorite days. It really so we is. went to Timbisa with F and B. I've went back to my high school. Uh, we went to Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, also to do a library set up there with Sun International. So that's so... always, always my favorite days. Yes. And then what else? There's many. I I'm not going to forget. Okay, okay. And Number then, three. Yes. There's many. Mm. Uh, wasn't for you hosting alongside Andy Lengube Yo. on Sports at 10? I mean, wasn't that, that the was, first time you presented ever? That was nerve-wracking. But you killed it. That was nerve-wracking. You killed You're it. making a valid point. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. I was immediately like, Where, where's that clip? I'm posting it. <laughs> People need to know I'm now presenting. <laughs> exactly. And they were like, Natasha, where's your show? Uh, yeah. like, yes. but, but that was cool. Yeah. And then furthermore, the, the, it's just many things. I can imagine, babe. And you just need to really, really seek the like enjoyable and fulfilling parts in whatever you do yeah like you need to keep it excitable for yourself yeah and then just meeting people honestly ooh, ooh. yes who the booker homecoming <gasps> when we won the world cup yes and that was when we got the picture of you and sia colisi and you guys were like they were like head boy head girl can i tell you why yes i'm a fangirl mm -hmm. i'm putting it out there <laughs> use it against me it's fine i'm a fangirl of the booker i love rugby i yes. grew up watching rugby every single weekend. When I was 10 years old, I had a rugby themed party Aww. and everyone had to wear rugby jerseys and my cake was like sharks, lions, blue bulls That's and so stormers. Cute. So I grew up in a, in a rugby household. My yeah. father played rugby. And so by the time that I 
met the bokke, I yeah. like had this ball and I had everyone signing it. So that was a surreal day because yeah. it was the pride of our country and you could just like witness it and be there. And feel it. And how cool the year one was South Africa. So it just felt like, it felt cool, okay? It was I felt just like a cool girl. It's in history forever now. Yes. The same year that they won, you so won. I'm going to be like your mom back in the day. <laughs> We won the World Cup when I was Miss Sada. Come on! And not just for the third time, for the fourth time, my love. Thank yeah, you very wow. much. Wow, wow, wow. But Natasha, I also know that, I mean, it, it's the craziest thing watching you not just do your reign, but then also continue to run this amazing fashion label. I need to ask you, because when you talk about it, what kind of goals do you have for it? Do you one day want to take it to New York Fashion Week? Like, where do you want to see it go? Hmm. Not many people ask me that, but yes. genuinely not overseas. I think it will be a proudly South African brand forever. Oh, I, love I really enjoy keeping it very intimate and small and very focused. And yeah. I don't even ever see Natsoli Jeffries really mass producing, but mm. really having clientele that makes custom pieces sure. and one of a kind pieces. So that's, that's where I love it. That's what I'm passionate about. I don't see it like ordering batches of the same thing of thousands, yes. if you get what I'm saying. But keeping it more exclusive and really like experience to every single client. Yeah. But it's also a way just expressing my creativity. I'm a right brainer. Mm. I am a creative person. I love to dress up. It's one of my favorite parts of being Miss South Africa. We know that girl. Day. Like, I'm like, Ooh, what can we wear today? <laughs> yeah. So I think it's just expressing myself and my creativity. And mm. when you also see when you dress someone and they just feel beautiful, and they look beautiful. And it's just, I know, it's something that you wear. It's on the outer, it's like outside, but like you can see them light up and feel confident. Yeah. So I love being part of that. Oh, that's so beautiful. And something <laughs> else that is very beautiful is love. Because we <laughs> are in theory. And ah. of course, you knew I was going to ask this. You knew. Natasha, Fine. what are your plans for the 14th of February, 2024? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> my sister. Well, Miss South Africa was nice enough to keep it open in my diary. So <laughs> it's still empty. Um, but but <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I tell him, Plana, I swear I'm going to get engaged very soon. Oh, so it might be. I really, I look how she's laughing because she thinks like I'm it, If you like it, you should have put a ring but, on it. And Tlantla is the person who is always with Natasha. No matter where she goes, you will find Tlantla there. And that is why even when she gets engaged, I'm sure Tlantla will be right next so, to you. So Tlantla's like, listen, I'm putting your nails in for this date. Oh. I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, the week after. Because I swear the week after that I'm flying to Cape Town. I think I'm getting engaged. <laughs> you see, you heard it on Expresso first. Natasha thinks she's going to get engaged. I'm going to look so delusional when I don't have a ring about this. I'm like, I'm a... <laughs> but it's I'm been, you fingers. know, I've been in a relationship for nine years yes. and Yo Enrico is such a big part of me and my he's my support system. Aww. So I feel like speaking about him, I'm very proud of him. And yeah, I mean, love is great. It is. Love is great. Look at you lighting up. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Natasha. I am so glad that we got to have this catch up because, like I said, the last time we spoke to you as your Expresso family was literally when you just got crowned. Yeah. But you're doing incredible. Thank you. 12 Thank out of you. 10 for being Miss South Africa 2023. <laughs> and I genuinely cannot wait for us to have you again. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. Lots of love. All of the love from our 2023 Miss South Africa. It is Natasha Hubert. And my friend, it is only about to continue being a feel-good breakfast show indeed right here on Expresso because we only ever serve you up what you deserve to get your day started off perfectly. So this is why you got to stay tuned. You're still on your feel-good breakfast show.